Okay, well, I'll start by saying, tell us about your role, Lord Roderick. Uh, Lord Roderick is uh, the most evil man on the planet uh, in, this, in this world. And uh, he uh, is the king's right-hand man. He's to marry the princess, who's 30 years his junior, and she doesn't like that idea at all. She convinces her father that she shouldn't marry him. And, um, and he does everything he can to get his hands on this, uh, on the throne and maintain the, the, the throne and bring the giants back down to earth to take over the world. And you are playing the film's nastiest character. It must be quite fun in a way to, to portray that kind of villainous role. Really fun to play a role like that. Really fun. Um, you know, he's, a, he's the archetypal um, vi villain from all the classic old stories that, that we know. Um, and it was, it was just it's great fun to do it. Were there any particular villains or from any fairy tales or films you've seen in the past that you sort of molded around? Well, I think if you think about like Laurence Olivier's Richard III, or you think about um, Basil Rathbone doing um, uh, the Sheriff of Nottingham in those movies in the 30s with Errol Flynn, that kind of stuff, or you know, even like the Child Catcher and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, you know, they're great, really scary, evil guys. With the, they're, 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 there's always that little bit of wry sense of humor that they have too that makes them even more scary. And was it quite tough to shoot in a sense? Because there's a lot of scenes where you're, you're starring alongside quite big giants, which I assume aren't actually there and they're not actually real. Giants are really not there until they put them in later. So you're acting with a guy who has a long stick with a tennis ball on the end of it. That's what you're acting with. And is it quite uh, interesting? It must be quite great to watch the finished product and see how it's all kind of pieced together. Then, I suppose. Well, it's very satisfying because you don't, you really can't fathom that it's what it's going to look like. Even though they show you the pictures and sort of coarsely animated things, you kind of go, mm, that, that, how, can, how are you going to make this look? Believable, but they did more than that. It's it's amazing. Is it quite fun to see yourself look so tiny on the big screen? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, funny. And just funny. What was it like shooting in England? Well, how was the? Dare I ask? How was the? Did the weather hold up? Oh, the weather was the way it is in England all the time, which is sometimes it's nice and a lot of times it isn't nice. But it doesn't matter. You know, this is a great country to 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 shoot in. I love England. I'm completely in love with London, and actually hope to move to London. So. I'm in love with it, um, and I've shot here many times. I love the crews. I think the crews are really fantastic, and the infrastructure is really good for shooting. Uh, and you have so many amazing locations, and you have great food in London. What, what could what could be bad? And a great accent as well. And a great accent. Oh yes, oh, that's you're it. Thank thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.